Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tomasz and in today's video we're going to talk about how to set up Visual Basic Editor to make it look like a pro. Alright, I was thinking about making this video a long time, from a long time and uh, I think it's time to do that. So, VBA Editor or VBE. In short, it looks like the time stopped for him. And you are right, because the time re really did stop. But most of you may not know about those functionality, which is uh, really, really useful and making it, I mean the editor, almost like uh, one of the pro editors, but almost. In this video, I'm going to show you five upgrades of your VBA editor which will improve your user experience. Okay, first of all, let's prepare some sample code to show the results. Okay, having a sample uh, code, we can go to the first uh, first thing uh, in our video. In the editor tab, what is most important, turn off uncheck um, the auto syntax check. So it is uh, here, tools, options, and editor tab. First of all, turn off the auto syntax check. Thanks to that, um, this will turn off those annoying messages boxes. boxes every time you don't finish the line for any reason, for example. Let's see how it works. Let's check it once again, click OK, and uh, I'm going to show you how it is behaving. So, for example, I'm starting to write something like that, but uh, I had to uh, stop, yeah. And here we got this message box. In some way it is good at the beginning of your journey with the VBA uh, because you see what is the error, expected list separator or, or, or this sign, so okay. But going further, those message boxes are only annoying you. So let's delete this or yeah, delete this. And uh, I mean, <laughs> sorry, I mean uh, turn off the auto syntax check, click OK, and now those message boxes are turned off. So, for example, and we are not finishing this line for some reason, click Enter, and the editor and VBA editor only mark this line in red, telling you that something is wrong here. Now you don't have to click any message box and those annoying message boxes are gone. The second thing, require variable declaration. Make sure you uh, have checked the require variable declaration and it is in the, in the same tab, so editor tab in options. So having this require variable declaration checked to avoid any kind of issue connected with lack of variables declaration. The easiest example why it is worth to do, I mean to turn this on, uh, to put a pressure on variable declaration, is that if you don't declare your variable, the VBE is setting the variable as a variant, which is the heaviest or the biggest type of variables in VBA. So, thanks to declarations, you decrease the size of uh, your variables, sometimes it's even a few times, which in the end goes to much faster work of your macro. Let me show you how the VBE is behaving when it's turned off, so there's no variable declarations requirement, and every time you uh, insert a new module, there's just a blank module. But having this 
no. Uh, having this checked every time you create a model, there is a magic option explicit. It requires a new to declare the variable. So the third thing, colors of your VBE. You don't have to work in VBE with a back with a white background as I'm having this now here. Um, you can set it up just the way you like it. You don't have to work on this. Mm, I can show you my favorite colors setting, which I prefer to work with. So uh, you need to go to tools options and in the editor format you can change all the colors of the mm, of the uh, specified uh, parts of your code so mm, I will show you my favorite settings so for the normal text I'm going with the this violet and background is black so it looks like this and uh, Central Europe okay next thing is a uh, common text common text in green and a black then keyword text keyword let's keyword text set it to the white blue and uh, and a black foreground and the last thing is a uh, identifier text mark it as a white choose the white color and the black background and click OK and here you have another set of colors and just just pick what's your favorite, what you feel the best to code with. The fourth thing I want to mention here is comment and comment block. To comment the line of the code, you just put the apostrophe, just like I showed you here. So when I'm putting this, it turns green uh, as we set it earlier in the options. Uh, you put this apostrophe in front of the section you want to comment out and that's it. But there are some situations when you want to comment out whole block of the code. So for example, I want to comment out this and to do that, not knowing the shortcut, you need to put this apostrophe in front of the uh, every line of this block. But you don't have to do this. Let's put it out on this bar so uh, this option which I'm uh, talking now um, so to do this you need to go for example here and customize the bar and now you need to go to comments and click the edit and there is comment and uncomment as you can see I already put it out and that's here comment and uncomment close comment and uncomment block so thanks to that options I can select the whole uh, section of the code and with only one click I'm commenting out every line and if I want to return to the uh, to, to what I had in the beginning so to uncomment this whole block I need to just click uncomment block and all the apostrophes are gone so thanks to that, using only one click, you can comment or uncomment the whole block, whole code block. And the last thing for this video is definition and last position. Those functions will help you to move between your subs and functions in the code. When you see that there is uh, used uh, any sub or function, instead or uh, control plus V, uh, control plus V, I mean, and searching for this routine uh, in the model for this sub or function or uh, uh, in the model or whole project you can just click on the name of the routine and click the definition so for example in our code we got here hello world 
sub and to go there you don't have to as I said click control V and paste here hello world and uh, click find next there's only that in this model so uh, we need to check the current project and find next and here we got the hello hello world sub and the module 2 so you don't have to do that to find this sub you can just click on the hello world uh, I mean right click and go to the definition it just moves to the uh, hello world sub and to return to the place where you uh, where you have been you don't have to click the module 1 or you don't have to remember in which module you were you can just cl right click here and go to the last position and um, instead of right clicking you can also add uh, those options to the bar uh, just go to the customize and in the view tab you can see the definition and the last position and you can just drag and drop it here I mean oh here you need to um, see this black cursor in the bar and just drop it definition and oh I meant I meant I meant just like here and the last position buttons so instead of right clicking you can just select here select the sub or function and go to with the definition and now when you see uh, when you see all what you wanted to see just go to the last position and you're back so that was it in this video I prepared for you five things to set up the visual basic editor VBE to help you improve your work in VBA I hope it will help you as it helped me when I found this when I found this out in the editor my experience just got much better and I hope that you will get also too if you like this video please leave a like under the video and comment in the comment section uh, it means for me a lot subscribe to this channel to be updated about the latest uploads also I invite you to my website simpleexcelvba.com and my Facebook profile Simple Excel VBA. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video.